Hi, welcome to my tutorial. Today I am going to design SCD type 1. Uh, so first of all we should know what is SCD type 1. SCD type 1 maintains the current data and so how to develop SCD type 1. So we are having a table employee in our source and uh, employee SCD type 1 table in the target. Uh, now develop uh, open Informatica Power Center Designer create a mapping over there this mapping name will be underscore scd underscore 1 ok drag and drop source and targets ok there are few rows columns which I don't require so I'm going to remove them. Uh, this is one of them and second is job ID and commission. Okay. Uh, take a lookup transformation. Okay. Select the target. Done. Add the primary key port to the lookup transformation. And add the condition. Now there are few ports which I don't require. That is name, email, hire date. I'm going to uh, check for salary update. So salary will be my. Uh, Lookup column, manager ID, manager name. Uh, these things are not required. Okay. Renaming this port as input port. Then apply. Okay. Next thing, what we have to do? Take a expression transformation. Drag all the columns uh, from lookup transformation. Okay. I'll rename them as lookup. <coughs> okay. Apply. Okay. And all the ports from source qualifier. Now the next thing for the new records will directly go from here to, to expression to target. Okay, before I have to do something, uh, I have first name and last name, so I am going to concatenate them. So my full name will be out underscore name. It will be string type and size will be 50. It is not an input port. Okay, and this um, first underscore name. Fine. It will be last underscore name. Okay, it's fine. Okay, everything. Uh, everything is not now. Center. Okay. Manager ID and department uh, department ID. Next thing is, we have to use a expression transformation. Uh, sorry, update transformation. UPD. Update strategy. Look 
could employ ID primary key column. Next, mm, what you want to update that is salary. Okay. Now, <coughs> in properties, update strategy expression. Write it as td underscore update. Okay. Apply. Okay. An instance of target. Join this lookup with employee ID, salary with salary column. Okay. Now this is completed. Save it. Uh, mapping m underscore one is valid. So now create the workflow and session. Okay, create a workflow. My workflow name will be wf underscore scd underscore one. Okay, now create a session. It will be session underscore <coughs> scd underscore one. Okay, select the mapping. Done. Next, link it. Double click on the session. Go to mapping tab. Okay, select the source. Targets. Right, target is. Okay, select normal. Then select lookup transformation. It is in target. Okay. Apply. Okay. Okay. Now our workflow is ready to run. But before that, we will see what is there. <coughs> 